Hi, in this video, we will see how we can create charts like these without writing a single line of code. The charts like a line chart, a multiple line chart, we are showing two different items on the same chart, and then a bar chart, a heat map chart, a point chart, a box plot, a histogram, and finally, a geographical map. So let's get started. We'll be using these three packages, Exquisite, ggplot2, and dplyr. If you haven't got your packages installed, you can click on the install and then give the name of the package and it will install it for you. So here is our first chart. This is going to be a line chart. We are creating some fictitious data and call it df. It has the date, the patient count and the deaths for each date. And let's use this command, which is going to do the, the coding for us. So I'm using the squeezer package and calling the data frame within that squeezer command. So if I run this, you would get this display. So in order to draw the chart, you would just have to drag the date on the x-axis and the patients on the y-axis, and it will give you a chart. Then you can go to the labels and title, change the title as line chart. You can give a subtitle. Now you can go to the plot options and you can change the size or the thickness of the line. Go to the next one and you can change the color of the line. You can also choose the theme. For example, I wanted to choose some ggplot theme called classic. So it gets the classic display. And you can also make some changes to the data. So you can restrict the date range if you want. I only want to show the data between this range. Or if you only want to show the data for a particular number of patients where the patient number is between 1000 and 152 and so on. So after you've done everything, just click on the code. And here's the ggscript code. All you have to do is just copy it to the clipboard or copy it like this and then close this. So now if I copy this code and run this code, you'll get your chart. Now let's see how we can do multiple line charts. In this example, we will see how we can do multiple line charts where in the same chart, you will have two lines in this case. For example, we want to show the patients as well as the deaths on the daily basis. So I'll create a data frame called DF2. And if you notice the DF2, it has date, name and value. And then it has two rows for the same date. One row shows the the patients, the other row shows the death. And the field is called name. So let's call this in the SQZ and put the date on the x-axis, the value on the y-axis. Now we can color it by the name. Now we have two lines. One is showing the, the patients and the other one is showing the deaths for the same date. And of course, you can go and customize it. We can also color different lines. So for example, we want to color the deaths in red color and we want to color the patients probably in blue color or some variant of blue. And select the use specific dates. Otherwise you can select the palette which you want to use and the number of palettes which are available there. So in this case, let's use a specific date. And again, the theme can be chosen. This time, let's try a theme called Economist. And you can also change the position of the legend. If you're on the legend on the left-hand side or on the top or on the right-hand side, you can do so. In this case, I'm just going to put it on the top. And after that, if I take the code, and run it, I get a nice multiple line chart. Now let's go to the third chart. And the third chart is going to be a bar chart. And I'm going to use 
the built-in data set called mpg and i'm just going to put it in another data frame just for convenience and then run the sqz again and this time i'm going to use since it's going to be a bar chart i'm just going to put manufacturer on the x-axis and it automatically does the count for us and it creates a nice bar chart and if i wanted to fill it by the model i can drag the model to the fill and you would see that the colors for um, different models have changed for example the chevrolet has three different models that's why we have three different colors in there but in this case i'm just going to leave it like this and then change the titles etc And if I wanted to change the appearance, I can change the color of the fill. Let's settle for this one. And finally, we can just take the code out, copy to clipboard or just control C otherwise. Close it, remember to close it uh, every time. And then we have our nice bar chart. And now let's try to create a heat map chart. So for heat map, we need two categorical variables and then the frequency of that. So if I look at the data frame, I have the cut and the color and then the frequency or the count for each, each combination. And using the squeeze command again, we can create our heat map. Just drag the cut on the x-axis, color on the y-axis, and then fill it by the end. And then we get our heat chart. And if I click on the labels again, this time I'm not going to give anything else. So um, I can change the appearance. I can change the colors. I can pick the magma color combination and it does it. And you can change the orientation or the positioning of the, the legend, which is on the right hand side. You can bring it to the top if you want. And then once you're happy with that, you just go there and say copy to clipboard or control C. And remember to close it. And here is our code. And our heat map is ready to go. Now we're going to create a point chart. I'm using the empty cars data set, which is a built-in data set, passing the data frame to a squeeze. And I'm going to put MPG and then maybe the weight on the X and Y axis. And then maybe I want to change the shape or the size of the, the dots based on the weight. So higher weight would have bigger size of the dots and so on. And again, you can change the titles, etc. Then we can change the color. We can change the theme. In this case, let's do a dark theme. We can also change the point symbols. You can have squares instead of the, the round circles. And once we're happy with that, just copy to clipboard or control C and then close it and paste the code there. And then we have a nice dot plot. So in order to create the box plot, I would need the data, which is the weight and the feed. For each type of feed, the weight of the chicks has been recorded. So using that data, we can do a box plot. So on the x-axis, I'm going to put the feed. And on the y-axis, let's put the weight. And you would see that we suddenly got the, the box plot. And in this case, uh, if you wanted to change anything, um, let's color it with this color and copy the code there. This time we haven't made any changes to the titles, etc. And I can copy the code there. So this is our box plot. You can also do a histogram. Histogram is based on the data which we have. So it's the temperature. I'm just going to put the temperature on the y-axis and suddenly you get a histogram. You can change appearance as well. So let's make it green color. And then again, now copy the code, close it, paste it, 
And now using the script which, which has been given to us, we can create our histogram. Now finally, the most interesting one, map. So I'm going to use some data. And I normally use this website to get the spatial data. So this is the website. You can select a country. And then you get different charts, administrative areas, inland water, roads. In this case, I've selected the administrative areas and then downloaded the data. That data comes in different formats. So we are using the shape format data. And I'm also going to use a, a library called SF. And then I'm going to read the SF data, which I've just downloaded from the website. And once I have the shape files, I'm just going to use the shape files called int underscore adm one dot shape. So once you download the data, you get a zip file and you have various files in there. I'm going to use a file called int underscore adm one dot shape, which is this one. So I'm using that file and reading it as a SF format or simple features format and then calling this data set called NC. So in this case, let's go and drag the name one feature on the fill option. And you would see that suddenly the screen becomes alive and then you get a, a map of the country. So in this case, this is the India map and all the states have been plotted. And remember, this is based on the shape file which we have downloaded. So the shape file contains the boundaries of each state. And then of course, you can put your details in there, the titles, etc. Go to plot options, and I want to reduce the, the, the line thickness. I can choose a different set of colors, for example, magma. And I don't want to see the legends. So I'll just remove the legends by saying cross. And let's use a theme called, there's a theme called map, which is useful when you're plotting maps because you don't want to see the any details you know, the lines or the, the x-axis, y-axis, etc. So use the theme map and you get a nice map of the country. And I'm just going to copy the code and then close. And then if I run this, so this is a nice map which has been filled with different colors, one for each state. It's not a choropleth map because for choropleth map, you would need some data, for example, the population or number of patients or number of sales, etc. And this is only being colored by the, the states. There's another video which we have, which talks about how to create choropleth maps using different shape files and then using characteristics like population or any kind of numerical data. I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.